I guess my best time was 228 because that's what I had to beat Lily with. But now Lily's running this in an obscene time. How are you supposed to, I don't know. Have you beat this in one? Have you gotten under 140 on this? Because that's crazy to me. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a good morning, evening, whatever it is. Um, I did a poll last week and Phasmophobia won for today's video, but I just do not have time right now to sit down and play Phasmophobia. So I'm going to play Horse Tales because they put out a patch and um, I want to see what it's like now. I checked the day of the patch because the patch dropped and it said they fixed the timer issue that I was having. If you watched my last video, you would see that I had a timer running anytime I was doing like updates of the day that I filmed. And it like bugged out from a race where I had a timer going on top of my screen the whole time. But um, it they fixed it. The day of the patch, it didn't, it wasn't fixed. I logged in to, cause I was like, yes, I can do what I want to do and do some races. And it was still there. It was still like counting down, counting up. So it wasn't fixed. But I just logged in a little earlier today and it was fixed. My, my fear is I'm going to like, load in after recording this and it'll be back um but we'll see um they also said they fixed the stress issue ponies were having and a couple other things um those are the like main two things uh let me just check what else they said they fixed so they said they they fixed the stress from jumping thing um, I never ran into that, but I'm hoping that we don't run into it today because my plan is to go around and show you guys all of the different jumping courses. I wanted to do a more positive take because I do think that the jumping is one of the like best parts of this game and the courses are all like, I don't want to say they're super unique, but they're unique to themselves. Like I really, really like them. They each have a different flavor. There's also like beach runs where you just literally run around the beach, but I wanted to go through each of the, um yeah each of the races today so that's my plan is to just go around the map um hopefully right here i can insert what all of the maps are <laughs> but yeah so that's my plan for today is to um go around and do the courses i'm not going to be on screen today because i don't want to be on screen today so <laughs> i'll probably see you guys at the end of the video but during the video i'm not going to be here you're just going to have to deal with just my voice and the, the cute ponies. All right, I'm sure that'll be fine. So let's get heading out to some of these uh, some of these races. I'm excited. All right, so something fun I'm running into is it doesn't have them marked on the map right now. Which, okay, I think I know where most of them are. I'll just look up a different map. It's showing me the like beach runs, but it should like, it should have, um, racetracks and beach runs but it just has beach runs that's all it's showing because i know that there is oh my gosh it's also lagging out on me i know that there is a there's a race like right in here but it's telling me there's a horse what does that mean so just to get a feel for things so let's see i'm locking the camera just to see how it feels on a course like this. So this is the course you can like build Ooh. in your place. And it's really difficult if you don't have the camera locked behind you. In my opinion, I think it's undoable without locking the camera, but the camera when you lock it is just really difficult to generally kind of use. I don't honestly, I don't know where this race is, where you start this, but I really don't like locking the camera in general behind my character, but I do find the only way I can actually do this course, oh jeez, is when I do that, and even then it's still a struggle. Oh man, Freya's dirty. Alright, let's go get her cleaned up, and then we'll actually head out to do the, uh, to do the actual race courses. All right, we're doing the Felix Tournament track now, which is located in the Felix Estate. Um, it's a pretty cute little course. It's just like a very traditional 
jumping course. I don't want to call it traditional. It's just a circle. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. I'm going to try to lock the camera for this one. So wish me luck that it actually works. You can like skip most of these. And I see like the ghost riders skipping most of the jumps, honestly. Maybe not this guy. This guy's actually gonna ride the course, apparently. Oops, wrong button. I'm trying not to like hurry it. I'd rather have like a clean run for the video than like a winning run. Oop, there we go. That was bad. Because I really don't want to have to go give her another bath. I don't want to have to like bathe her in between every single race, but I probably am going to have to. a gold thing in between the two of them just like messes up my depth perception. Ooh. Okay, I'm in the jump. Oops, I keep trying to press A to sprint and I just press B instead. I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. You don't need to jump it if you just run right through it. placed at all the times just get so crazy on these runs but yep so that is a felix tournament track i like it it's just kind of i do this one sometimes when i'm trying to get horses to like jumping more because it's just a circle and <laughs> it's nice all right this is the chasm run it's right in between like withers and birchwood um i've only done this one one time this one stresses me out a little bit just because of what it like what it is. There's a lot of construction-y stuff. But let's give it a go and just take a look at it. I remember there being a lot of like sharp turns. Gosh, camera's all messed up. Come on. Come this way. I know there's like a couple. Ooh. There's like a few like alternate pathways you can take. But I'm just gonna follow my heart on this one. We're not doing full clears here. So you, I won't be showing all, all the alternate paths. I don't have that in me. I'm already doing too much of that with Final Fantasy right now. Oh my god. Alright, that's an edge. Big edge. Ooh, okay. Oh man. Look. 
We did it! Bit of a struggle, bit of a struggle. But yeah, that is the Chasm race. It's got its own interesting little vibe. It scares me because it's all just like edges. But yeah, but then there's that one. Alright, so we're at the windmill race, and this is honestly probably my favorite race. It's right over in this little area in between Seaboard, St. Elysian, and Coral Lagoon. Um, this is probably one of my favorites, just because I love how the course looks. Uh, windmill's race. Am I very good at it? No, but I enjoy it. <laughs> How did I make that? I know you can like slide, but too many buttons. like unique jumps or anything but I love the oh geez I love the flowers and our... oh, okay where did it put me I love like all the flowers and everything along the sides oh, eighth place. cool cool but yeah so that's the windmills race this one I do like whenever I'm in the area just because I enjoy it even though I'm not very good at it, but yeah, I like that one a lot. Alright, we're gonna do the Into the Woods race, which is just right in this little area over here, near Bluffs Homestead and Crossroad Forest. This one I think is one of the prettiest ones in the game. I think you can see I have a bit of a preference in terms of like foresty flowery maps. tree jumps unless I run into them I like them less just because it's like a birch forest up here and I think it really adds to it surprised there isn't a course in the spooky woods honestly now that I think about it there isn't a jump course or anything out there oh I forgot that's not a jump that's just a thing you run across gets me every time Ooh, we actually got on the board this time all right that was the into the woods race like I said, one of my favorites, probably my second favorite after the windmill race. Alright, this one is the Castle Ruins race, right south of Crab Beach 
in the castle ruins, which I thought it would stay on the map, but I guess it doesn't. But this is the castle ruins over here. And it's a windy little loop around. But it is like a bit of a claustrophobic race. in this area since this is where I fell through the map. I don't want to fall through the map again. So I'm like hesitant with like all the walls and stuff. God. I'm silly zigzagging to struggle to just press to like just go forward. jumps or if it's just been like little corners. I tried to do, I guess these are jumps, technically. I tried to do a a slide and it didn't work out for me there. Speak of the devil, I'm like there's no jumps and then also there's like a bazillion jumps. What a weird shop to get that one from, right above. <laughs> yeah, that's Castle Ruins. I like the aesthetic of it, but it just, I am so nervous in that area because that's where I ran into the corner of a wall and ended up in underground jail. So I was just get a little bit nervous there. Sorry, I was yawning. But yeah, that's the Castle Ruins. Very pretty, very pretty, in my opinion, if you're into that kind of foresty style, which I obviously am. Alright, if you've played this game, you're familiar with this race. It is Sneaky Ways Race. My least favorite race in the entire game. People have beat my time with insane times now, so no way am I going to get first this time, but we're just here to run the course and um, have a bad time. So let's go. I was tempted to just do this without being in the race because I know the course, but might as well just do it, but take our time a little bit with it. I don't run this in the like best way, but I tried it. I'm trying to let the camera do whatever it wants, but it's hard to see where that jump is if you're not like from above. If that makes sense. But I figured it out. Wow, I did it and I only failed once. to make that jump, but might as well, I guess. Ooh! Bad time. Oh, bad time again. I jinxed myself. I think you can skip this one from what I've seen by going around it. But we're not here to win. We're just here to look at the... Look at the course. Oh! Thought I was gonna miss that one. Ooh! Okay. I'm gonna go around the outside this time just to look at it. 
which I will do. I did not do for the mud pits because it's just a bunch of mud over there. I'm going for speed. I skipped that little jump there, but we're just here for a leisurely, sneaky ways time. I'm surprised I made that jump both times. I missed it twice just getting here. See, it's so much more enjoyable to run these when you don't have to get first place. <laughs> but yeah, that is sneaky ways. Um, I guess my best time was 228 because that's what I had to beat Lily with. But now Lily's running this in an obscene time. How are you supposed to, I don't know. Have you beat this in one? Have you gotten under 140 on this? Because that's crazy to me. Alright, it's time to do the Flatlands race. I honestly forget that this race is up here, um, off of the beach. I think I've done it one time, so I honestly, I don't know what to expect with this race. I have zero memories of this place, so let's give it a go. I got that jump. Did not see that coming. Ooh, that was kind of a nice little. Oh my gosh, I got first place! Oh, I beat Lily by like half a second. Take that, Lily. That's exciting. Um, yeah, so that is the Flatlands race. Actually a pretty nice, cute little course. Uh, with a lot of branching paths. I wonder how the other paths go. Yeah, ta-da! I actually placed in one of these. Hi guys, I'm doing the outro. No camera. I know you said- I know I said you would see me at the end, but... Uh, I'm extra gremlin because this is the day after I first filmed this. And I am not in any state to be seen today. Today I am in gremlin hiding chores cleaning mode, but I have to film an outro. <laughs> so here I am, uh, riding around while we talk. So that was all of the jump courses in the game. I was intending to put the beach runs, but it made the video too long, so next week I'll have a video out of all of the beach runs. Um, and yeah, that was all the jump courses today. Do you guys have a favorite jump course? Mine is definitely the windmill course, although, like I said, I do also like the, um, forest run. I can't remember what the exact name of it was. Um, I don't know why sometimes there's just, like, no music playing. It gets a little bit frustrating. <laughs> because I don't really like just the silence, but it is what it is. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this and are finding, oops, are finding some joy in this game where you can. I know that it's still buggy as hell, but I do still enjoy a lot of parts about this game and I still like running around and um, having a good time with my ponies. I think I'll be doing a video, um, I'll have this, this beach run video out next week. And then I think my plan is to try to do a video about breeding different types of horses, um, different colors. So if you want to see more content about this game from me, let me know. Um, I'm probably going to move towards Pokemon soon because that drops later this week and I'm extremely excited for it. But if you do want to see more content from this game, I will be keeping an eye on 
the patches and everything that oh everything that they're putting out i look forward to seeing what the devs do because i do like to believe that they are listening and want what's best for their game and i think it has a good baseline and i look forward to seeing what they do as they fix it i just wish that it had launched a little bit more positively and less broken but yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out please like and subscribe let me know in the comments what your favorite um part of the game is or what your favorite jumping course or beach run is i look forward to hearing from you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye